Hey everyone, how's it going? So for today's video, I want to show you guys how to make an eyeball color wheel. Now, color wheels are very important because they teach us all about our colors. They show us what colors make new colors, they show us what colors don't go together, and they show us how we can tell what colors go where on the color wheel and which ones we can use for our projects that we're making. So, for this project, you're going to need some paper. You're going to need something to draw with, such as a pencil. I'm going to use a permanent marker just so you guys can see better. You need a ruler, an eraser, and then you're going to need some markers or crayons. And then you need something to color with. I'm going to use some paint, some of this watercolor paint that works really well. But you can also use markers, color pencils, crayons, whatever you want to use. Now, to start off with this, we're going to make a circle on here. and I like to just trace something, so I'm just going to use this paint palette. Now, if this is too big, you can always use something a little bit smaller, but I'm just going to use this because this is a nice size. So, first thing I want to do is I want to draw a nice circle right around there, and that's going to be the start of my eyeball. Now, we want to label our color wheel in here. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take your marker and you want to draw a small little dot in the center. Now the next step is we need to divide this up and we need to divide this up into 12 different little triangles. So this is how you're going to do it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to line up your ruler up and down right onto this dot. Don't put it on top of the dot or else your lines are going to be off. So you want to see your dot when you're drawing this line. So once you have it lined up, just draw a nice line right down here. Then you're going to do the same thing going from side to side. So you have a big plus sign. Now, the next step is we need to add two more lines inside each one of these. And the easiest way to do this is to just go ahead and put two little dots inside each one. And make sure the dots are even apart so you have three even triangles. So I'm going to go ahead and put these little dots in here as evenly apart as I can. And then very easy, all you want to do is line up your point to the dot. So you just want to line this up and draw right to there and then do the same thing. Line it up and go right to there. Now you don't want to try to draw this all the way across because sometimes they don't line up very well. So just go ahead and connect all these lines to your dot. Now once that's done, we have a nice color wheel here and you should have 12 little triangles on here or 12 pieces of your pizza. Now, the next step is we want to mark off all of our little spots. So this is where markers come in handy. So you're going to need six colors. You need your three primary colors, which are red, yellow, and blue. Remember, these are the three colors that make all the other colors. So without these, you couldn't have any other colors. And then you need your three secondary colors, which are going to be green, orange, and purple. These are the three colors you get when you mix two primary colors together. An easy way to remember this is your primary colors, think of Superman because his logo is red, yellow, blue. And then in this one, for your secondary colors, think of the Hulk smashing a pumpkin for green, orange, and purple. So you want to start off with your red marker and on any one of these little triangles, make a little red dot. So I'm just going to make a small one really close to here. Or actually, I'll put it a little bit farther out. Now, I need my orange. What you have to do is you have to skip one. So don't put it right next to here. You have to skip one and put your orange. Then do the same thing with your yellow. Skip one, yellow. Then green, skip one, green. Blue, just go skip one and blue. And finally, purple. Skip one and purple. So if you did it right, you should have six little color dots and you should have a little triangle in between each one. Now, our next step is I want to add a little bit of detail to my eye picture. So what I'm going to do 
is I want this to look a little bit more like an eyeball. And you can always make this really fun and turn it into like a different animal eye or something. I'm just gonna go with just a normal eye for right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a big circle in the center here for a pupil. And I'm going to just kind of add a little circle shape right in here. And then I'm just going to color this in. Now make sure when you're making this pupil you don't make it too small because if you do it just doesn't look right. And this is the part you can always add like extra things to make it look more like a different animal or something. Just lots of fun things you can do. I'm just going to make it a normal eye. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line that goes from here. It's going to curve up, touch the top of my eyeball, and then come to here. So I'm just going to draw a line. I'm going to run right across the top of my eyeball and then come right to here. Then I'm going to do the same thing at the bottom. I'm just going to curve down. I'm going to touch the very bottom and then come right to here. Then you can add extra things if you want to add an eyelid above it. You can. You can do something like that. You could add some eyelashes. There's lots of different things you can do. When making eyelashes, you always want to have them go out at an angle. And so what I like to do is I go out at an angle and then I'll come in and I'll throw some extra ones in between. So when you start an eyelash, you always start it at the one that you just finish. So here's the one I just finished. I'm going to start and draw this next one. And that just kind of really helps it get filled up. You can add extra ones in there as well. I'll put a few more down here just to make it look more like a realistic eyeball. So now what we're going to do is we need to go ahead and start coloring the different parts of our color wheel. So we want to start with our primary color. So we want to start with our red, yellow, and blue. I'm going to use some watercolor paint because it just is a nice tool to use for painting and it colors everything really well. So get a little bit of paint on your brush. Wash your brush off. And I'm going to put this red paint right here where this red dot is. Now make sure when you're painting you're staying in the lines, taking your time, and don't push down really hard with your brush. You don't want to give your brush a bad hair day. So just go ahead, get some paint, and just kind of brush it on here. And fill in all of your white spots. You don't want to leave any of those. Then you're going to do that with your other two primary colors, your yellow and your blue. So you just go ahead and get some new paint and fill it up. So there we have our three primary colors. We have our red, yellow, blue. Now these are the most important colors because these colors make all the other colors. If we didn't have these, we couldn't have any of the other colors. Now we need to make our secondary colors. Now when you're making your secondary colors, you want to mix your primary colors to make those. Now if you don't have paint and you just need to use markers or crayons or something, that's totally fine. But this is just really good practice. Now. I need to figure out what makes orange, purple, and green. So to do this, I'm just going to start with orange, and I'm going to look at the two colors that are closest to it. And those are going to be red and yellow. So this is telling me that if I mix red and yellow, I will get orange. So let's try it out. So you just want to go ahead and get some red paint on your brush. You want to throw it in one of the spots. Get some water on your brush. Cleaned off, then I'm going to get yellow. I'm going to need a lot of yellow because the red is pretty dark. So I'm going to need a lot of water. I want to make sure that I'm cleaning off my brush so I don't mix up all that yellow inside of here. So I'm going to mix all that up. And I'm going to need a little bit more yellow because this is kind of a dark orange right now. And we need just a little bit more. And there we go. That's a nice orange. So I'm going to take this orange right here and I'm just going to paint it right on top of here. So I have a new secondary color in the section right here. Now I'm going to need to do that with these next two colors. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to mix blue and yellow and that should get me green and then red and blue to get purple. So when I do my blue and yellow to, mix, to make green, I'm just going to get some blue. I'm going to need a lot more yellow and mix it up. 
Now I got a little bit of a green right there, but I want it to be just a little bit lighter. It's still kind of dark. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more yellow and that's a good shade of green. So I'm gonna get some water, get some paint, and I'm gonna fill this in with green. And then now I need to do my purple. Now sometimes when you're mixing the purple, it doesn't always come out to be like a super bright purple, but that's okay, you just have to kind of use it. So we're gonna mix some blue and some red. And you can see the shade of purple, it's not perfect. It's a little bit, or almost like a maroonish color. You can add some more blue to try to, you know, fix it, but it's never gonna be like a really bright purple, but it still works for what we need it to. So go ahead and add your purple onto here. Now, we have our primary and secondary colors. We have our red, yellow, blue for primary and our green, orange, and purple for secondary. But now we have all these white spaces and we need to fill those up and we're gonna do those with what we call our tertiary colors. Now, our tertiary colors are the colors you get when you mix one primary color and one secondary color. And these are really easy because, look, if I wanna figure out what goes here, I just mix red and orange and whatever I get that's gonna go there and you just call it whatever these two colors are. So when you mix red and orange, they make red orange. You always put the uh, primary color before the secondary color. So since I already have these nice colors made, I'm gonna use this paint palette. I'm gonna put some red in here. I'm gonna wash off my brush and then get some orange. And when I mix it up, I'm gonna put a little bit more orange in there. And when I mix it up, I should get a nice dark, kind of like reddish orange color. So when I paint it on here, it should be a mix between the red over here and the orange over there. And then it works out pretty nicely. So I'm gonna do that for all of these. So this one, I'm gonna have a yellow orange. This one will be yellow green. This one will be blue green. This one will be blue purple or blue violet. And this one will be red purple or red violet. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix all these colors up real fast. Now when you mix your yellow and green, you're gonna to wanna to use just a little bit more yellow and a little bit less green so that you can have that nice light color. So I'm gonna get just a little bit more yellow in there. And I'm gonna put my yellow green right up here. Now right over here we need our yellow orange. I skipped that one. So I'm gonna mix some orange. I'm gonna put some right in here. Sometimes it takes a few tries just to get enough paint in here. I'm gonna wash my brush, I'm gonna get some yellow. And I should lighten it up and it should be a nice little yellow orange. Not as dark as orange and not as light as yellow. And this is a pretty good yellow orange right here for this one. Now over here, I'm gonna mix blue and green so I should get a nice blue green color. So I'm gonna put some green in my paint palette. Now I'm going to get a little bit of blue. I'm gonna need a little more green because that blue is really dark. Now we're gonna go just a little bit more. We have a nice blue green color and that works out really well for this one. Now over here, we need to mix our blue and our violet. So I'm gonna take a little bit of blue, put it in here. Get some of our violet, mix it up. And we should have a nice blue violet color right here. And then finally, we need to make our red violet. So to make our red violet, we're going to mix up some red. Then we're gonna put a little bit of purple in there. And it should really darken up our red quite a bit. And then we should get a nice little red violet. I could actually use just a little bit more purple in there just to darken it up a little bit. And then, yeah, this will give us a nice red shade of red-violet. 
And when you're done, you're gonna have a really nice, cool looking eyeball color wheel, just like this. And this is a great tool that you can use to show you guys all your primary colors, all your secondary colors, and all of your tertiary colors. Then if you wanna have some extra fun, you can always paint all the way around here. You can turn this into something. Like I said, it's always cool to look up like some different animal eyes, try to see if you can create one type of like animal eye, something like that. But there you go, that is your eyeball color wheel. So I'm going to sign off and thank you so much for watching guys.